800-449-8255. I'm Chris, in for Dr. Savage tonight on the Savage Nation. Savage. On the air, online, and on the go, this is Talk 910 KNEW. Clean energy is the key that will unlock millions of jobs, and the NAACP's support is vital to ensuring that those jobs help to rebuild urban areas. So clearly there's a diversity. Madam Chair, that is condescending to me. I'm the National Black Chamber of Commerce, and you're trying to put up some other black group if this gentleman, against me. If, this, if, this gentleman, if this gentleman were here, he would be proud that he was being quoted. Just he, that he, he should would. have been invited. I got to tell you, you want to hear racism? You want to hear bigotry? There it is. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. Harry Alford, Black Chamber of Commerce, see, uh, the CEO and president, just a few weeks ago testifying before a true bigot. A true racist, Barbara Boxer. My name is Chris Stegall, in for Dr. Savage on the Savage Nation. Uh, Michael, thank you for the invitation. Working on the brand new book, Banned in Britain. You know, uh, not a shred, not a scintilla of evidence suggests this man deserves to be banned from a country, much less from a radio station or from a publishing house or from a television show. Yet he is. And he's taking it on the chin for everyone in talk radio and, quite frankly, every free citizen in the United States who values their right to peaceably assemble and speak freely. He really is, and I know he doesn't want to be, but whether he wants to be or not, he now knows he must step up to the plate and defend all of us. The pursuit of free speech, which we hold most dear. 800-449-8255 is the telephone number. If you want to read... The first chapter of Michael's brand new book, which no publishing house will touch. He will publish himself, and it will become a bestseller in spite of publishing houses. It will become a bestseller in spite of the media that won't do the traditional rollout and interview format that so many morning talk shows do on television. As he's told you a number of times, they ignore him, yet somehow you seem to continue to find him and gravitate toward him on the Savage Nation, and it is because you value free speech and honesty. No ties that bind him to tell you the truth. It's why it's an honor to be here and fill in for the guy, because it just doesn't happen in talk radio these days, what you get from this show. It just doesn't happen. But if there was a way, and if there is a way, and they'll use racism, and they'll use uh, suggest language he uses will incite terrorism, they'll say whatever they must to marginalize, demonize, castigate Michael Savage until he is effectively banned, as he was in Great Britain. I am confident of that. While all along what we know, the true racists in the United States of America are caught on camera and on microphone every day in big ways and small. A black man being by a white woman named Barbara Boxer from California in a Senate congressional, uh, in a Senate uh, testimony, a black man says, I don't stand with this phony cap and trade bill. And there's a white woman sitting before this black man waving a letter in his face. Hey, there's a black guy in my letter here that says he's with it. Now, what's wrong with you? You're black and this guy in the letter's black and he supports me. So why don't you, you black guys are all supposed to think the same. Yet it's Michael Savage that's the racist. Do I really have to continue to drive this point home? Banned in Britain, the new book. Grab the, the advanced copy now. You can order it now. MichaelSavage.com. Let's go to Ann in New York. Ann, you're on the Savage Nation. I'm Chris and for Dr. Savage tonight. Hello. Uh, hello, Chris. Um, uh, I just wanted to say I am getting so fed up with everything that's going on. Uh, because Michael Savage is uh, one of the best people on radio today. And I think... Uh, I think they're all afraid of him. I think Washington, I think the House, I think all of them are afraid of him. And is there any doubt, Ann? Is there any doubt if they have the, the, the will and the means? In fact, it's, it's uh, Michael puts it in his book here. I've got to try to find it. Um, one of the, uh, the cutaway lines in the book is a quote from Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, here it is. Uh, conservative radio is a huge threat and political advantage for Republicans, and we have to find a way to limit it. I'm really grateful that on the back of his book, Michael Savage will put a pull quote from Nancy Pelosi to make us ever mindful. If they have the ability, and they most certainly will try, conservative radio is a huge threat and a political advantage, and we have to find a way to limit it. 
Folks, this is very, very real. And Dr. Savage is doing yeoman's work here. He is climbing a mountain that most talk show hosts would never even attempt to climb. We scream, we talk. We talk a big game. Michael Savage is out there doing the heavy lifting. I, for one, am thankful he's doing it and grateful to be here in his stead today. 800-449-8255. This is the Savage Nation. Savage. Michael Savage. Afternoons 3 to 7 on Talk 910 KNEW and online at 910KNEW.com. Coming up next from San Fran Freak Show, the Savage Nation. From Talk 910 KNEW. These guys are so hilarious. I almost drive off the road every morning. Armstrong and Getty. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Talk 910 KNEW. Warning. The Michael Savage Show contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Here is Michael Savage. De Gaulle in for Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. The telephone number 800 449 8255. Dr. Savage, thank you for the opportunity. Dr. Savage taking some time off today on the Savage Nation, working on the brand new book, which you can buy in advance right now at michaelsavage.com called Band in Britain. You want to read the first chapter, the work that uh, Michael Savage has been uh, cranking out. Read uh, some of the, not only the, uh, the content, but some of the the quotes of uh, both affirmation and criticism of Michael Savage. It's a really, it's a full-throated analysis of uh, his ban in in Great Britain by Homeland Secretary Jackie Smith that it has not been lifted and how very real it could be and seems to be becoming right here in the United States. It is uh, already going gangbusters. No one wants to touch it in the publishing world, but Michael Savage doesn't need the publishing world. He has you. 800-449-8255. People really are saying enough's enough. The town halls are just one indicator. And it is it is becoming... I I read this, uh, this story from Politico today that Robert Reich, the former labor secretary under Bill Clinton, is now calling for a march on Washington, September 13th, Grandparents Day, in support of socialized medicine in support of Obamacare. Now, my question is, do you think September 13th, Grandparents Day, if this were to materialize, Robert Reich calling for people to mobilize and march on Washington in support of socialized medicine, do you think any amount of agitating, any amount of trying to generate and gin up support at these town hall meetings to counter what you You across the country that are just standing up for freedoms and liberties. It's not even it's not even a an ideological partisan fight anymore. It's Americans, people that still value and understand liberties and freedoms and the Constitution and and the things we are guaranteed by God and our founders. These are things that Americans hold most dear. And if anyone still understands their history, If anyone still understands the founding principles that make this country great, and I believe, after having seen these town halls, I am as sure as I sit here now, I am as sure that most of this country now understands what is at stake. And they have put aside labels. They have put aside conservative, uh, liberal. They have put aside Democrat, Republican people that still value freedom in this country and liberty in this country, understand it is under assault in ways we have never seen. And so... I am as confident for the first time I can sit here and say as a conservative, for the first time in my life, I am confident that conservatives, really America-loving people, citizens of this country, will actually prevail. I used to fear, frankly, quite regularly, that the agitators of the world, the Barack Obamas, the acorns of the world, would rule the day always because people that listen to the savage nation have jobs, because conservatives work 
for a living. They don't agitate for a living. They can't show up on courthouse steps at noon and hey, hey, ho, ho. We've got families and kids and mortgages and jobs and obligations. We take care of ourselves. We keep our heads down. We work hard. But there comes a time where we say enough's enough, and these town halls are just a start. The tea parties were another indicator. And I think if Robert Reich, September 13th, Grandparents' Day, and others begin to call for some sort of march on Washington to support socialized medicine, I think they will be embarrassed. Would you go counter protest is the question. Well, I'll tell you, it doesn't seem to be registering with a lot of leftists in Congress. Two men in particular, Barney Frank and Eric Massa, both of New York. These are some of the most extraordinary. You've seen Sheila Jackson Lee talking on her cell phone, ignoring the cancer patient who stood up at the, at the town hall. 